right, this is how you do the math for work and energy and power. First, let's go through the units. Force is in newtons. Distance is measured in meters. Work measured in joules. Power, the watt, times in seconds, kinetic energy, joules. Gravitational potential energy, also joules because of the work energy theorem. Since work is equal to change in energy, joules has to be equal to joules. Okay? Mass is measured in kilograms. Kg. Height is distance, so it's also measured in meters. Symbols for work. Work is W. Power is P times T. Distance is D. Height is H, but these really mean the same thing. Mass M. Force is F. Gravitational potential energy. G. G. E. Kinetic energy. K. E. And mechanical energy. M. E. And remember that mechanical energy is the total. It is the total energy in a system. Okay. All right, let's do the guess method. We're going to underline, pick an equation, plug in, okay? An electric motor lifts an elevator 10 meters, so this is your distance or height, right? 15 seconds, that's your time. Exerting an upward force of 5 times 10 to the fourth newton, so this is your force. What if power, power equals, what is the motor producing? Okay, so the equation for power is work over time. Do we have work? No, but guess what work is equal to? Force times distance. That's why I gave you two equations for power, but it didn't need to be. Work is force times distance divided by time. So you have two equations for power. Okay, force times distance. So I'm plugging in force times distance for W, okay, because they're equal. Okay, my force was 5 times 10 to the fourth. In your calculator, you would put 5 E. 4, that second E. The distance is 10 meters up, and your time will be 15 seconds. Okay, so let's see. I put that in the calculator. 5 E4 times 10 divided by 15. Okay. And our power is 3.3. Three hundred and thirty three point three watts. If you were doing that in kilowatts, that would be see so take the decimal over three, one, two, three, thirty three kilowatts. Okay. Kilowatts. Kilo one, two, three. All right. Okay. How much work does force gravity do? So this is looking for work. Work equals force gravity do when a ten newton object, so this is your force, gravitational, or just force. All the distance of 11 meters, so this is your height. So work is equal to work is equal to force times distance. Force times distance. Boom, we got two out of three points here. Work is equal to 25 newtons times 11 meters. So 25 times 11, you get 275. And work is measured in joules, 275 joules. Okay. We looked at three kilogram textbook kilograms of mass from the floor to a shelf two meters above. That's height. What is the book's GPE relative to the floor? Gravitational potential energy equals. That's what we're searching for, right? So what's the equation for GPE? We'll look up here. GPE, mass times gravity times height. Okay, mass times gravity times height. Remember that G is always equal to 10 meters per second squared on Earth. We can use the Around it to 10. I know it's 9.8, but don't worry about it. Okay, 3 times 10 times, and what was my height? 2. Okay, 30 times 2, 60 in the unit for gravitational potential energy. Notice how I'm looking right. Unit for joules, right? 60 joules. What was the amount of work I did? Well, you know, work is equal to change in energy, right? So this would be 60 joules of work as well. Keep that in mind. It's going to be something I ask you in the future. 60 joules of work. A 5 kilogram textbook, so mass again has a speed of 2 meters per second upward. All right. So this is velocity, right? What would be the kinetic energy? K E of the book. So kinetic energy is equal to what equation is that? 1 half mv squared. So let's write that out first. 1 half mv squared. Okay, now, 
I have mass and I have velocity given, so let's do that. One half, my mass is five. My velocity is two squared. That's ugly. Okay, so one half times two. That's four times five is twenty. One half of twenty is ten, and that's in joules, right? All right, got it. Good.